Welcome to Nicholas 11x12, the last time I've compared 6 Intel Core i7 processors against each other. Today we'll pretty much be doing the same thing with a total of 5 Core i5 CPUs from different generations. Namely the Intel i5-2500K versus the 3570K versus the 4670K versus the 4690K and versus the 6600K. Now as you may have noticed there are some dated CPUs on this list but that's exactly what this comparison is all about. Is it worth it to upgrade one of the older i5 chips and get a newer one instead? Let's find out. But first let's go over the release dates real quick. The legendary 2500K Sandy Bridge saw the day of light back in 2011. Its successor the 3570K Ivy Bridge was released in 2012. The 4670K Haswell in 2013. The refresh of that one the 4690K Devil's Canyon came out in 2014. And currently the latest one the 6600K Skylake was released in 2015. We of course can't judge the pricing of these CPUs since many of the older models aren't on sale anymore. Now let's get to the benchmarks. But unfortunately as much as I would have liked running new game titles such as Far Cry Primal and Rise of the Tomb Raider with these CPUs, right now I don't own these games yet. That's something I wanted you guys to know. But now let's bring on the charts. So from what we've seen, other than with Intel's i7 processors, there hasn't been that much of an improvement from generation to generation with these i5 CPUs. Still by no means do I say there's none. There definitely are quite the performance gains noticeable, just not as dramatic ones as with these flagship i7 models. Anything that has to do with rendering and productivity, there's almost a linear curve noticeable when it comes to performance there. But not only in that aspect, that kinda also seems to apply to the gaming side of things. Starting from the 2500K all the way up to the latest 6600K, there has always been some kind of improvement in frame rates in games. The older models still do fine though, even though the newer ones do indeed lead to slightly more FPS. But in general I find it quite interesting how well Intel manages to improve frame rates with their CPUs. Pretty impressive. The temperatures never really have been a problem on any Core i5 processor in the past. And while the 3570K Ivy Bridge, the 4670K and 4690K do run a bit hotter, or warmer in this case, than the good old legendary 2500K Sandy Bridge chip, the latest 6600K Skylake does show improvements when it comes to temperatures. At least it's heading in the right direction. The power consumption over the years almost remained identical, even to this day. Not much changed really. So in terms of efficiency no need to upgrade at all, if that's your concern. So the conclusion is sort of simple. While there definitely are noticeable performance improvements with newer i5 models, I wouldn't really say it's a must to upgrade. These data chips still offer decent frame rates in games, don't really consume more power, and yeah, if you really really want to get closer to the results of the newer models, there's always the option of overclocking available. You should be able to squeeze out just a tiny bit more performance by doing that. But keep in mind, regarding gaming performance, the more powerful your graphics card, the bigger the FPS improvement and gap between CPUs in general. So what are your thoughts on this? Let me know your opinions. I hope you enjoyed this quick comparison video and now maybe know whether or not you should go the upgrade path. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit my website to sometimes see videos there earlier.